Okay, welcome to lesson 6.3, writing two-step equations and the essential question, how do you write a two-step equation? Well, we're going to start with modeling two-step equations. And in this key, we have positive variable. That represents a positive variable. That represents a negative variable. And that's positive one and negative one. So using algebra tiles, how can you model this? Well, we have uh, three positive variable x. So three times that. So three of these. And in here, I have three of them right there, and then minus four. So that represents uh, plus a negative four. So you're adding four negatives, and there are one, two, three, four negatives. So you use um, three positive variable tiles and four negative one tiles. Done. Uh, that's done right here. How can you model the right side of the equation? Well, it's just five, five positive ones. So there you go. And I have an equation mat here. And in the equation mat, we have 3x uh, minus 4 uh, equals 5. So there you go. Okay, now we're not going to be solving this though. We're just modeling it at this point. So how would you change the algebra tile model in the explore activity to model negative 3x instead of positive 3x? Well, we'd use three negative tiles instead of three positive variables, uh, ti variable tiles. So all I'd have to do is switch this over to negative. And now it's negative 3x minus 4 equals 5. Okay. So, writing two-step equations. You can write two-step equations to represent real-world problems by translating the words of the problems into numbers, variables, and operations. In this example, a one-year membership to Metro Gym costs $460. There is a fee when you join of 40 bucks, and the rest is paid monthly. Write an equation to represent the situation that can help members find how much they pay per month. Well, first, step one, we identify what we're trying to find. This will be our variable in the equation. M, we're trying to find the amount of money they pay per month. They say right here, how much do they pay per month? Okay, identify the important information in the problem. Okay, they told us a one-time joining fee is 40 bucks. The fee charge for one year is 12 times each month. So you convert the year into 12 months to find out how much they're paying per month. The total cost is $460. So this is all given information here, except for that. We called M the variable. Use the words in the problem to tie in the information. So we have our one-time fee. That was $40. And then we have to add to that 12 times because it's each month times the monthly cost and that totals $460 for the year and here we go they just condensed it right here and there you go so let's reflect uh, other representations why would this equation this equation for finding the monthly fee be difficult to model with algebra tiles well you'd have to okay think about this uh, as I have my algebra tiles I have 12M, okay, 12, that means I'd have to have 12 of these, okay, that's not such a big deal, uh, plus 40, all right, I'd have to have 40 of these, and they need to be adding, and actually, I guess I had this as, uh, so I'd have to have 12 of these, 40 of these, and then I'd have to have 460 of these on the other side, because that was 460, okay, that's kind of crazy. Can you rewrite the equation, the form 52M equals 460? So, where do we get the 52? I believe what we do is what they're, they're saying is, could you add 40 and 12 together to get 52M? And no, you cannot combine 40 and 12M because they are not like terms. That would have to be 40 that would have to be 40m and 12m, or that would just have to be 40 and 12 without the m. Okay, so that's how that works. Okay, next. Billy has a gift card with a balance of $150. That means he has $150 on the gift card. He buys several video games that cost $35 each. After the purchase, his gift card balance is $45. Write an equation to help find out how, much, how many video games he bought. So, 150, so he started with that, and you have to sub subtract $35 for each. So when you have for each right there, that means you're going to be multiplying 35 times the, 
the amount, the, the number of um, video games he bought. And you're subtracting this because you're taking away from the $150. And in the end, that equals 45 bucks because that was his balance at the end. Okay. Writing a verbal description of a two-step equation. So now we're going the opposite direction. We're given this and we're asked to make a word problem based on this. So let's take a look at this 5x plus 50 equals 120. Let's analyze each part of the equation mathematically. X is the solution. It's the quantity that you're looking for. Okay. 5x means that for a reason given the problem, the quantity you're looking for is multiplied by 5 because that's 5 times x. Plus 50 means a reason uh, that for a reason given in the problem, 50 is added to 5x. And then equals 20 means after multiplying the solution by 5 and adding 50, you have to get 120 as a result. So here are a couple of situations that would fit that equation. You have a number, you have X number of books weighing five, each of them weighing five pounds. So there's five times X right there. And, uh, and you want to know their total weight. Oh, think of some different, oh, this is just five times X. Yeah, this is just five times X. And here's another situation where it's five times X. You save $5 each week for X weeks and you want to know the total amount you have saved. Okay, now we have to build on that. We have to add in the plus 50. So, uh, and the equals 120. So in this uh, part, in this example, a publisher ships a package of X number of books, each weighing five pounds. So there's your five times X, plus a second package weighing 50 pounds. So there's your plus 50. And the total weight of the packages, so the total of these two, total means you have to add them, uh, is 120. So how many books are being shipped? X is the number of books, so you're solving for X. The other one, Leon receives a birthday gift of $50, okay, from his parents and uh, uh, and decides to save it. Okay, so he's got 50 bucks each week. So there's the five times X. Each week he adds $50 to the savings. How many weeks will it take him to save $120? So X is the number of weeks. All right. So in this, write a real, real world, world problem for 10x plus 40 equals 100. Okay, here's my attempt. Hank has 40 bucks. He wants to save $100 for a trip to a theme park. That's the best I can come up with. His, parent, his parents pay him 10 bucks each time he mows the lawn. How many times does Hank have to mow the lawn in order to have enough money for the trip? So x will be the number of weeks. All right, that's all you got to know.